Hello and welcome to HP Calcs. Rick here and today we're going to have a look at how to use scientific notation on the TI-36X Pro Calculator. To get started we'll be using the EE key, looks like this, located here on the calculator, as well as your mode key, it looks like this, and is located up here beside the second function key. So scientific notation is great for simplifying long or complex numbers. So, for example, if we had 150,000 and wanted to write that out in a more compact way, we would want to put it into scientific notation, which should look like this. 1.5 times 10 to the power of 5. So we can write this out in scientific notation by going 1.5 and then using the EE key here. You can see we get an E on the screen there. That represents this times 10 to the power of and then we enter the exponent, which in our case is 5. Here you can see, and press enter. And you can see that's the same as 150,000. You can also do this with small numbers. So let's say we had 0 0.001, which in scientific notation would be 1.0 times 10 to the power of negative 3. Here we can go 1.0 or just 1, EE. And then we use the negative button there, and then the 3. So for a negative 3 power, press enter, and there you go. You can see it's the same as 0 0.001. But what if we want to convert numbers into scientific notation, rather than having them already? Well, then we can first turn our calculator into scientific notation mode by pressing the mode key. And then you see it's flashing on the DEG there. So we want to go down one and to the right one until it's over that SCI. You want to press enter to select it. And you should see a small SCI on the top of your screen appear there. You press clear to get out of that menu. The SCI remains there. So now if we enter, let's say, our 150,000, just enter it normally. There we go, 150,000. Press enter. You can see it automatically converts to 1.5 times 10 to the power of 5. Again, this works with small numbers as well. So we have our 0 0.001. Enter. There we go. That's the same as 1 times 10 to the power of negative 3. And if we're done with this mode and want to go back to our normal mode, we can do that by pressing the mode key again. And then the taking our cursor down one to the norm or normal mode there, pressing enter. You can see the SCI is gone now. So if we press clear and this time enter 150,000, press enter, it doesn't get converted. So we're back to our normal calculator mode. All right, I hope this helps and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.